snowballing sex scandal. The many allegations are both in Hollywood and in Washington, D.C. Five women have accused an alleged child molester to Jeffrey Tambor, George H.W. Bush. Russell Simmons. From Hollywood to Capitol Hill, corporate America and big media. It really breaks into every industry. Claims of sexual misconduct are spreading. So it's an opportune moment in the country right now to have this conversation. That conversation plaguing our capital, where three lawmakers were under investigation for a variety of inappropriate behavior. Representatives Don Shooter, Michelle Eugenti Rita, and Rebecca Rios. It's the people's house, not a frat house. We sat down with Regina Cobb and Maria Sims, two representatives who want change, but making it happen proving not that easy. What is sexual harassment? That's a hard one to describe. And that's probably where we're having our issues. At. So where where do you draw the line? I think that if we were to expel everyone who uh, acted in an inappropriate way, um, we'd, we'd have an empty, uh, house. empty house. They are two of four Republican women behind this letter to Speaker of the House J.D. Mesner. They wrote, Representatives Eugenti Rita and Rios should be removed from leadership roles since Representative Shooter was removed from his on the House Appropriations Committee. And once you make that decision for one, you need to make it for all. Shooter is under investigation for sexual harassment against nine women, including lobbyists, journalists, and fellow lawmakers. Eugenti Rita for a lewd comment and an affair with a staffer. Rios also for an affair. Her case was just dismissed. But are they the same? That is accurate. I mean, you are talking about inappropriateness. In the eyes of the law, the distinction is more clear. I would look at unethical. Unethical versus illegal. There's a difference. Tyler Allen is an attorney in Phoenix who's seen a spike in recent claims. And I'm seeing it a lot more. I think people feel safe to speak up. He says sexual harassment is viewed from the eyes of the victim. It's on what the person who's being harassed and feels they are being harassed. Uh, it's, it's on their perspective. It's an unwelcome and unwanted advance. And it's also a crime. Typically, having an affair is not. It's a difference because it's not unwelcome or unwanted in the workplace. But Allen says that doesn't mean there can't be repercussions. The NFL has a code of conduct. They can say, hey, you're violating the code of conduct. A code of conduct is non-existent at the Capitol. How does the state of Arizona not have a code of conduct for our lawmakers? <laughs> That's a really good question. They do have a policy on workplace harassment, which only addresses the illegal behavior. That's why representatives Cobb and Sims want to rewrite the rules, outlawing sex at the state house. I'd like to see that we have rules that say you cannot engage in sexual relations with employees, with staff, with lobbyists. As when you're talking about sexual relations with consenting adults, do you think that's going too far to kind of try and root that out? That is one thing if it doesn't affect your relationship at work. And I think that that's where the line has been crossed. If it affects your relationship at work, if it affects how you vote, if it affects how you treat others. Influence is a very big thing in politics. Anytime you, you mingle positions of power with influence and sexual relations, it causes problems and gives rise to a lot of uncomfortable situations and allegations that cost the taxpayers money and I think the people don't want to put up with it anymore. The women say it's about restoring the credibility of the House membership and the trust of their constituents. If we raise that bar to that, then the rest of the nation's going to start following us.